Right now the official name is Navigator. Um, these are the main components laid out here, then a control box. Um, the main system has, uh, utilizes the HLX drive. Um, this is the HLX module, drive module, something like that. I don't know, no official HLXD. Uh, the base module where these components will mount to. Uh, this is the compound elbow that uh, you know, takes the hose from the coil state and then kind of changes its direction to straight. Um, uh, rotate drive motor, a little urethane wheel there. So the three modules will attach to each other here. The hose module with the, the drum and the HLX hose. Um, I think we're going to offer four, five, and six millimeter HLX hoses as a standard, possibly eight in the future. So anyway, putting these things together, it's pretty simple. Uh, these little pins drop into a notch there. It can support its own weight while you get a little quick release pin. Your high pressure water would go into the swivel here. The uh, HLX drive module, same sort of thing, drop it into these things. While it supports its own weight, you can grab the quick release pins. those in. <clears throat> Next we'll want to uh, get the hose through all this and through the uh, HLX drive. So we've got to dis do a little bit of disassembly here of the drive. And Jules, you know that Sterling's updating this, so yeah. these procedures might be different. Yes. Yeah. Is this the old drive? Yeah, this is one of the first ones. With this uh, first frame, uh, the back end of this frame is really light. If you don't put the drum on first, this unit will cause it to tip over. So we'll correct that in the future. So anyway, you come in here and then you find the end of your HLX hose. I've got just a uh, little cap on here to protect the threads while you're uh, running it through things. You don't want to junk those up. So you can, you know, rotate this uh, hose as you need to, and just start pushing that hose. Through that elbow, and sometimes just you can rotate it like this to force it through, it's kind of easy. Just get it far enough through this HLX that we can put it back together. You got your um, split bushings there. There you go. Thank you. So today we're using a uh, five millimeter helix hose and you'd want to make sure your sprocket pack is also five millimeter matching it. I uh, got a 916 inch wrench back here and let me turn it right around to tighten up this top top sprocket. Yeah, snug it up. Put your bushings in. Mm. You want to zoom in here maybe? <laughs> uh, this little uh, disc here has three sides to it and the HLX is uh, capable of running uh, right now this design is 5, 6, 8, 13 and 20 millimeter helix. Uh, we'll update that when we start making the four millimeter. Uh, so anyway, whatever size hose you are 
you're using, you'll want that number facing up. So if there's a five right there. There's a flat on this uh, underside of this disc that uh, kind of bottoms out on these welded tabs here. And that keeps the gear in place. So uh, once that, that's all tight, we can put the cover on here. Um, it just slides in. A couple of quarter 20 screws. And I think one of the updates is these screws are going to be retained onto this box, so it'll be a lot easier. You won't lose them. 3 sixteenths Allen. Tighten those guys up. And also another update to this, these uh, little collars are going to be uh, attached to these split bushings or somewhere on there, and they're going to be hinged, make it a lot easier in the future. Anyway, these slide onto the um, ends here to keep the cover nice and tight around those collars, the split collars. This is a um, cam lock fitting. I've put the collar on this, uh, just made this part. And with the new updated uh, uh, split collars, this will definitely be different. I don't know how to uh, adapt to their stuff right now. I haven't seen what their end result is, but whenever they get the, the updates done here, we'll update this. And uh, I'd you know, love to have it like uh, just a quick attach, quarter turn, something. Anyway, we'll see that what happens there. Um, now with this, uh, the hose engaged here, um, you can't really force these gears to move. They're, they're on a worm gear. And so um, <clears throat> what we're going to have to do is hook up air now. Uh, whenever we want to move this, extend it in or, or retract it. So we will go over uh, here to our control box. We've already got main air hooked up here. Um, we'll get uh, some air lines to our uh, HLX motor and then another set of airlines to our rotate motor. A 50 50 chance here this first time. We'll see what happens. Uh, the, the operating controls for the navigator will be uh, hose feed, uh, which, is, which controls the HLX drive forward and reverse, and uh, uh, rotate only, which will just rotate the drum. And what that will do <coughs> is, um, since there's a spiral wrap on the hose, whenever you rotate it, it'll act like a, a screw. And if you're in a pipe and get hung up on an elbow or you want to move just really, really slow, you can just rotate only and it backs itself out um, off of any hang-ups or snags. Also one thing to note is anytime uh, you use feed forward and reverse, uh, rotate is coupled with that. And the reason for that is if you were to just drive forward and the hose was going out, uh, it would start uh, pulling the hose out and the coils would, would kind of collapse on themselves and then just fall out. So what rotate does is it kind of puts a little pressure on this uh, section right here to keep everything expanded uh, towards the outside of the drum. You'll need to uh, drive it forward enough, have a, enough length out here to get through your snout, and this is uh, auto stop. Uh, the, your cam locks through your snout, and um, then this will go onto a flange theoretically. Uh, also, Tim's working on that BOP, that kind of universal pipe attachment um, where you don't need a flange and uh, maybe, you know, we'll adapt this so it mounts. And I'm not sure if it's going to be a cam lock fitting on that or, or what, but that may, may be a, a universal type of attachment. 
Um, there's uh, some logic uh, air switches here, and uh, so this will automatically shut off when your tool uh, uh, retracts far enough and depresses a little shuttle inside. It'll activate these air switches, and so any uh, it cuts off rotate because rotate uh, drives backwards slowly, and then it cuts off your reverse for your helix motor. Um, the only uh, thing you can do when this is retracted is drive forward and then once it gets forward enough uh, it'll uh, re-engage these air switches and provide air to your rotate and reverse again. This is uh, there's four four airlines in here and this is for the uh, the logic circuit really small tubing uh, from your control box to the auto stop mechanism uh, these are four port uh, multi-line fittings. They seem to be working pretty good, pretty convenient. There's a key that you gotta line up as you do this. So before you drive uh, the units, you'll want this uh, umbil umbilical attached. Otherwise, uh, you'll just be squirting some air out here and it'll be really loud. And uh, you would get the forward motion, but like I said before, it would start collapsing the, um, the coils there and possibly get them tangled up. They might fall out. So you'll uh, always want this attached. Then it'll couple that rotate whenever you drive. Um, I'm going to be running uh, 100 PSI, that'll be standard on our uh, FRL. Um, so what you'll want to do is extend your uh, hose out far enough to get it, you know, snaked through here, your snout, and through your auto stops. Let me go another foot or so. Grab the end of here, male cam lock fitting, start showing that through. That'll pop out the end, latch that down. Put it through your auto stop. that down. Then you can take your cap off, you know, rubber cap, screw on cap, whatever. Grab whatever tool you're using. This is a Beetle 25. Blue goop, of course, on the end. You grab your wrenches, tighten that, that guy on there. And then you will be ready to attach this onto uh, a pipe flange and get to cleaning. So whenever the tool backs up here and it's gonna uh, push in on this uh, plastic shuttle inside there, it'll activate these switches. So it's taking up slack right now. Inside, inside the snout there's uh, some slack so uh, that, that delay is just uh, it pulling in all the slack from the snout. So it pulled that shuttle in, activated the switches. Now he can try to hit forward is the only operation that works now. Um, go ahead and retract all the way. And show him how you can hit rotate or reverse and nothing happens. A little safety feature there. Slow motion.